Start six o'clock and let's start. Jai Krishna. Good evening, everybody. Let's close the eyes. Bring the hands in Dhyan Mudra. Relax shoulders. Back straight. We will chant three long omkars, followed by the opening prayers. Sahana Babatu, Sahana Gunatu, Sahavidyam Karva Vahri, Tejasvina Vadita Mastuma Vidvisha Vahri, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Keep the eyes closed, join the hands at back of the body, bow down to the Mother Supreme Earth. Inhale, come back up, rub the palms against each other, generate urja, make them warm. Cover the eyes and face under the warm palms. Open and close eyes few times in dark under the palms. Slowly slide the hands down, gently open the eyes. And we will do our practice. Let's do a yoga mudra. Bring both palms at the thighs, back straight, deep inhale, as we forcefully exhale, we're going to bend down, try to push the head all the way down and try to lock the throat, holding the breath out, inhale, come back up, so we'll do two more times, every time we just forcefully breathe out, then we're going to lock Apply the Jalandar Band and hold the breath out. As long as we can stay, then we can just inhale, come back up, unlock, breathe in. And third time. Inhale, come back up. And we'll try to just go backward bending. Try to arch back, look up. Push the pelvis area forward. 
and try to keep the head towards back. Inhale, come back. Okay, we'll do some warm ups further for the joints, muscles, the various body parts, the light exercise, sukshma vyayam. Turn the palms in circular fashion into one direction. Try to keep the arms from shoulder to the wrist joint completely still and reverse the direction. Now fold the, the one hand at the elbow, grab the upper arm, rotate few times reverse, let the palm and fingers be completely loose, on to the second side, and reverse, bring both hands on the side way, turn the palms 90 degree upward, very slowly circle the palms around the shoulders. Do it slowly, but try to do it perfect circle. 360 degrees, so we are pushing the palms back as well. Try not to make the big circles. and reverse the direction. We can involve the breath coordination here. Inhale when we're bringing them up. Exhale, bringing them down. Inhale up, exhale down, but we are circling. Let's do one more time, forward direction. See if our shoulders, muscles, upper arms, If you feel any pain or anything, those are just a sensation. You can close the eyes, it will probably give you a minimum effect. And reverse. And relax. Inhale, raise both hands up. Exhale, twist the upper body onto the one side, look back, align chin with the shoulder, keep pushing the knee forward. Inhale, come back. Exhale, onto the second side, try to keep the trunk as vertical as possible. Feel the twist at the waist muscles, lower back, lower abdomen. Inhale, come back. Let's do one more time. And complete onto the second side. Come back. Interlock the fingers, place the palms over the forehead. Deep breathe in, hold the breath as we push the forehead and palms against each other. Some bearable force. Release the breath, release the palms. From back of the head, also we can push the elbows backward when we're pushing the palms forward. One more time, front of the head and back of the head. And side of the head. One more time. Do with full awareness, with breath coordination.
Now the shoulder blade, trunk, legs completely still, look straight, deep inhale. As we exhale, turn the head onto the right side, align chin with the right shoulder, look at the farthest point on the back at the right. Inhale, come back, exhale, towards left. Feel the twisting at the neck muscles, neck joint, come back, second time. Come back and complete onto the second side. Inhale, come back to center. Couple of inhale, exhale. The next inhalation, turn the head up, look into the ceiling, feel the full stretches, extension into the thoracic region. Exhale, chin at the chest. Second time, inhale up. Exhale down. Then we're going to circle the head. Inhale onto the right, going upward. Exhale onto the left, down. Second circle, gentle and steady circles. If you have a neck injury, neck pain, avoid it. Then two circles into the reverse direction. Inhale on left, exhale on right. Okay, so for the whole day while we are working onto the computer on a mobile for lots of hours, lots of time, we are holding our head weight because when we tilt, it put lots of extra weight onto the neck, right? So we do need to compensate at end of the day or during daytime also, whenever we get chance, we should be able to just relax the neck and we need to give it chance. Otherwise, we have seen some elderly people right back in ages, like people get bent and like all those osteoporosis and like so many different kind of things. But if they would have take care of like in daily basis certain things, then they don't get into that situation. Okay, so let's extend both hands on a sideways. Inhale, drop the one palm onto the floor. Raise the other hand up as we exhale, bend onto the one side, keep looking up into the ceiling, try to bend from the middle of the trunk, inhale come back, exhale onto the second side, come back, let's do second time, make sure our knees should not get lifted up. And we will press the palm and folded elbow down onto the floor so we can have a better curvature in the middle of the trunk. Come back, complete onto the second side. Come back and we will sit into L shape, all pose dandasan. We will quickly warm up. The light exercise, waist and below, legs are fully grounded, knees straight. Just lean down a little bit forward as we pull the toes towards the body. Feel some stretches into the calf muscles. Squeeze and release all the toes. Now as we inhale, push all of them together forward. Exhale, pull them back, inhale forward. Exhale back, few times, both feet together. Make sure knees stay straight, legs are grounded. At least we need to try to hold them on the ground. Now alternate few times. And circle the toes around the heels. Try to make the biggest circle possible and reverse the direction.
Okay, fold at the knee and grab the folded lower right leg. Exhale, inhale, push the folded right leg all the way over the right. Feel the hip opening. Exhale, push the leg down towards left. Inhale, towards right. Exhale, towards left. So if we grab the folded leg properly, we could even push it down at the maximum. And then relax the right foot onto the left thigh. Interlock the left fingers with the right toes. Keep on pushing the right knee down to the floor, creating the spring action, increasing the blood circulation onto the right hip joint, making it more flexible. Now just use the palm to bring the knee to the chin. Inhale, push it down to the floor. Exhale, bring knee to the chin. So why I'm saying just palm is because some, some people might use uh, the arm to do that. But we also need to strengthen our arms as well. And relax the right leg. Straighten it. Hold at the left knee and we will do Shishu Palanasan on the left side. Fully exhale when we bring it right. Fully inhale when we're pushing it to the left. So do total three times. Inhale, pushing towards left. Exhale, bring it, bring it back. And then rest left foot onto the right thigh interlock the left toes with the right fingers keep pushing the left knee down to the floor now bring knee to the chin inhale push it down to the floor exhale bring it to the chin two three more times And try to keep the trunk as vertical as possible. We just try to lift the knee all the way up. Now continuing with the hip opening activities, exercising or warming up on the hips. We'll do Titliyasan, butterfly pose, interlock the fingers, place them over the toes. Inhale, raise both the knees all the way up. That is just for the couple of times, all the way down, all the way up, exhale, all the way down. Then we can speed up. See if we can hit the floor with the knees. We can lift even knees slightly up, so it will create the momentum. So there is a greater chance that we will be hitting the floor. Okay. Now pull the heels inward. We will do Padrasan or Padrasan. Keep pushing the knees down to the floor. Hold them down. Try to keep the back straight. Deep inhale, hold the breath in lower abdomen for about seven seconds. Then we can exhale, deeply inhale again and hold the breath in lower abdomen. With closed eyes, try to feel the extra stretches into the pelvis joint and the hip, the hip joints and pelvis area. Make sure our back stays straight, knees stays down. So do a couple more rounds of the breath in, out and hold. Okay, once done, then without moving, the body or feet just 
keeping them there deep inhale and we are doing bhadra konasan as we fully exhale bend down try to bend from the lower back see if we can go as far as down inhale come back up now we can roll the body side by side and we can push the body slightly away from the heels about one foot between the heels and the perineum again align the head and trunk deep inhale hold the toes tightly as we exhale and bend down so now we should be able to go down very easily see if we can bring our forehead onto the toes some people maybe if they separate the toes they can bring the forehead onto the floor inhale come back up we will do second time actually this is the third time but second time into this position fully exhale push the lower legs with the folded elbows so we can bring our upper body further forward and further down so we should be bring our chin onto the toes inhale come back up and we can sit into cross leg posture let's sit into swastikasan so hide the toes behind the folded knees on both the sides yeah check if our if our feet are locked in a position or not it should be locked you don't need to lift your body up if you are able to but at least just feel it that they are locked so all toes are hidden swastikasan so we can sit straight relax shoulders bring both hands into dhyan mudra first finger tip and thumb tip together rest them onto the thighs or knees we will do bastrika pranayam deep inhale and deep exhale slowly steadily try to fill up all the three lobes of the lungs and fully exhale and try to empty the lungs completely no need to hold the breath in or out or no need to use any force try to keep the back straight so it will allow the maximum air intake try to observe the bodily movements as we breathe in our stomach will pop out that's the correct way of breathing otherwise it will be reverse breathing when we breathe in stomach will pop out when we breathe out stomach will shrink each time we breathe in there is some shoulder movements will rise a little bit will some movements in the chest as we exhale shoulder might go a little bit down make sure our legs knees thighs completely relax we haven't hold at them up we haven't hold any stretches just let them completely relax we should not be use any force to hold our back straight it should be straight but relaxed now shift the focus at the nostril very first point where the little chilled air entering into the nose as we breathe in try to feel the temperature if we have 100 percent awareness right at the nasagra first point into nostril 
should be able to feel some difference in temperature. As we breathe out, a little bit warm air. Continue breathe in and breathe out deeply as we keeping our awareness at the nostril and trying to sense the temperature. Slowly open the eyes, breathe in and out normal. Next we'll do Kapalbhati Pranayam. Bring both first fingertip into root of thumbs. Make the Vayu Mudra on both the hands. Deeply inhale. Hold the breath into the lower abdomen. Then we're gonna exhale forcefully in multiple exhalation, multiple stroke. We're gonna empty our lungs completely. Then we're gonna deep inhale again, fill up the all three lobes of the lungs. Then we're gonna forcefully breathe out in multiple exhalations. Frequency you can keep as per your comfort level. In and out normal when you completely empty the lungs then open up the palms towards the ceiling till the head slightly upward and close the eyes body completely still for at least 10 seconds keep awareness in between the eyebrows at the agnya chakra feel the vibrations let them calm down let the energy absorb into the body and come back. Next we'll do another variation of Bhastrika Pranayam to warm up the body. Make a tight face, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Use some force. If you have a heart problem, blood pressure issue, you can do it slowly or you can avoid it.
Okay, breathe in and out normal. Sambhavya mudra for 10 seconds. Open up the eyes and separate the feet far apart. Knee straight, legs are fully grounded. Inhale, look up, raise both hands up. We fully exhale, bend down, try to bend from the lower back, grab the feet, keep pushing the head and tongue together down. Inhale, come back up. We'll do second time. Keep awareness at the lower back and try to bend from there and keep on pushing the head and trunk further down. See if we can reach our forehead onto the floor. Inhale, come back up. Turn the body, the upper body perpendicular to the right leg. Fully exhale, bend down, grab the right foot equally with both the hands, keeping the right knee straight, try to bring the forehead onto the right knee. Inhale, come back up, towards left. Fully exhale, try to push the forehead onto the left knee. Inhale, come back towards the right, longer duration. Stay in pose. Keep pushing the forehead further down, closer to the right knee. 10, 9, 8. Two, one. Inhale up and towards left try to keep the knee straight as we keep pushing the forehead further down 10 9 2 1 inhale come back up now pull at the left knee Bring the left heel at the perineum. Turn the shoulder blade perpendicular to the right leg. Inhale, look up. We'll do Janu Sirsasan. Fully exhale. Grab the right foot equally with both the hands. Keeping the right knee straight. Keep pushing the trunk and head further down onto the right leg. Each exhalation, you can keep on pushing down. Then nine two one inhale come back up and switch to the second side deeply inhale up deeply exhale down grab the left foot equally with both the hands and try to push the trunk and head onto the left leg, forehead onto the left knee. Left knee remains straight. Keep on pushing further down with each exhalation. 10, 9, 8, 7, 2, 1. Inhale, come back up. You can bring. Both the legs together, keep the feet a little bit away from each other, roll the toes in and out, keeping the knees straight, legs grounded, feel the movements all the way at the hip joints. Now bring the legs all the way closer, align them, we will do Paschimottanasan, inhale, raise both hands up, look up, we can slightly lean backward. 
fully exhale, bend forward and down as we tuck the stomach inward. That means apply the Ujjayan band and hold the stomach inward. As long as we can hold the breath out, we can continue pushing the forehead towards the knees. We can push the feet forward as much as possible. Inhale, come back up. Second time, Paschimottanasana. Fully exhale, apply the Udhyan Band. Grab the feet, push the feet forward. Hold the stomach inward. Hold the breath out, keep pushing the forehead down. Inhale, come back up. And we will go on a complementary pose. Purva Uttanasan. You can do with the folded knees or you can keep the knees straight. Next inhalation, push the lower back up and bring the toes to the floor. So the feet flat onto the floor, drop the head at back of the body, try to look into the back wall. The elbows straight. You can even try to push the lower back even further higher. Once we stayed long enough, we can very slowly bring the body down into the L shape, fall pose, dandasan, and we can fold at both the knees. We'll go into Gomukhasan. So we will do Gomukhasan and Ardhamachandrasan combo. So first, Gomukhasan, try to align the knees, bring the heels closer to the hips. Whichever side knees up, we can raise the hand up and bring it down. We can even push with the help of the other hand. So the other hand will go directly at the back and connect both hands together. Once we make a good connection, then make sure our trunk, neck, head and knees, they are all in one vertical line. Either we can close the eyes and scan the body or we can just deeply inhale, deeply exhale, tuck the stomach in and we can bend down, try to bring the face closer to the knees. Inhale, come back up. Release the hands. And whichever knee is up, that side, foot, we're going to bring it slightly out, outward of the other knee. Just we can bring in a line. Don't bring it too further or too back. It should be in the line of the other knee. So whichever knee is up, that side hand, will go at the back of the body, align it with the spine, inhale, raise the other hand up, exhale, bring it down around the knee and try to grab the ankle, fully exhale as we look back, align the chin with the shoulder, continuously staring at straight back of the head. I'll come back very slowly transition to the second side first Gomukhasan if you need to adjust the knees heels if you have a less flexibility maybe you can raise the body up slightly so you can easily adjust them and then you can bring the body back can always use the cloth napkin or some a rope, some yoga strap, anything if you have issue of connecting both the hands at the back. Those props can be used temporarily like in the beginning once we have a good flexibility then we should stop using them.
back if you've done any of the variations here and Ardhamachyandrasan. Do with breath coordination and do with full awareness. Feel the full twist at the lower back and the lower abdomen. Okay, so we, we avoid, I mean, we skipped the Vakrasan because Ardha Machyandrasan is already covering that portion. You can sit in Vadrasan. can go on the toes, just on the toes, with help of both the palms, bring them on one side, extend the one leg out, try to keep the knee straight, the other knee remain folded and away from the floor, turn the upper body toward the straight leg, deep inhale, as we deep exhale, start walking the hands toward the hill. As we keep dropping the forehead onto the straight knee. We can stay in pose longer. Inhale, exhale here. Each exhalation, we can try to keep pushing the forehead towards the straight knee. Next inhale, raise the head and start walking. The hands closer to the body, bring the foot back and very slowly transition to the second side. So our body weight is rested onto the one heel. Deep inhale, as we exhale, start walking the hands one at a time towards the heel of the straight leg and forehead onto the straight knee. Inhale, exhale, normal. Each exhalation, keep on pushing the forehead onto the knee. Inhale, raise the head and start walking hands closer to the body. And again, sit into Madrasan. Madrasan or diamond pose. So we can separate the heels outward. We can sit into virasan. So our glute muscles, our sitting bones directly rested onto the floor. And again, come back onto the heels. Okay. Bimal Bhai, a quick question. Oh, uh, unmute. Ah, bolo. Long vacation ma jiye wa. Apda Surya Namaskar na mantra yaad chhe kani? Yaad chhe ne? Ah, bolo ji. Om Mitraya Nama, Om Ravai Nama, Om Surya Nama, Om Bhanve Nama, Om Khagay Nama, Om Pushne Nama, Hiranya Om Hiranya Garbaya Nama, Om Marijay Nama, Om Aditya Nama, Om Ravai Nama, and Om Surya Nama. Tame Das number of steps, Savitraya Nama. Miras, Ravar, 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 
ये प्रमाण जो ये प्रमाण पंच पंच वायु को नहीं याद चाहिए पांच वायु मेन हम तो फोर्टी नाइन टाइप्स ऑफ वायुज हुए चाहे अपना शरीर में ये माने पांच मेन हुए चाहे मैंने याद है वो के लास्ट टाइम रिटा बेन भोजन ही बोला था पर बद अरे चार वायु ना नाम बोली क्या अने प्राण वायु बोली क्या पान 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 अने प्राण तो अन्य आज अपान पान पान की तो एक प्राण हाँ प्राण हाँ करें प्राण पान व्यान समान एन उदान उदान या करें यप गुड सो पंच वायु के जय आपने घने जिक्के एन उल्लेख था तो इस राइट पंच वायु प्राण लाइक यू नो फ्रॉम अप अपर बॉडी टू गोज अप टू दिस पॉइंट अपान इज इज फ्रॉम बॉटम टू अप समाना उदाहरण क्या आपने आज ये बदु बोलिया थी ये बदु ये ये उदाहरण वायु अगर पॉसिबल अत नथी जेक का ये आप बदु आपने टॉक करिए के ये नगले ड्रम दिवस तो अने व्याना ये समाना समाना इज इज लाइक ऑल ओवर द बॉडी दे ऑल काइंड ऑफ मूवमेंट इज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर दैट ओके देर आर सेवेंटी टू थाउजेंड Energy, energy channels. Yeah, yeah. Done, done. You uh, man, mute. Can do that. You good. So thirty-six thousand. One side thirty-six thousand. Other side total body. Me under seventy-two thousand nadis. Out of seventy-two thousand, only three are main. Anyone remember the name? Hath hucha karo. Let me one mute karo. ओके गो हेड बिगुल मैं चंद्रनाड़ी सूर्य नाड़ी के नाड़ी बात करो ते चंद्रनाड़ी सूर्य नाड़ी बीजी एक चैनलाइ and all other are like total 72000 right all others are like tiny like little bit you know the small cul de sac streets straight highway like you know all those tiny ones okay tri dosha vat pit and a cuff apra gaya se suna vat thi pramane pachi panch layer of the body apre panch body hoy five anybody remember those five layers of the body panch kosha and a ke पंच कोशा भी क्या है पांच लेयर भी क्या है मिक्सअप था ही तो वांधो नहीं अपने घना टाइप जब आप दो कहीं डिस्कशन नहीं दियो फर्स्ट इज फिजिकल लेयर कि आपने अन्न में एक कोशा कि जो अन्न नू बने लो बॉडी फिजिकल बॉडी व्हाटेवर वी कैन सी आल्सो वी कैन कॉल इट कंप्यूटरी भाषा में कहे तो हार्डवेयर थर्ड वन इज सो प्राण में अपने कंप्यूटर की भाषा में क्या हुआ है तो आपने कहीं शक्य है कि भाई आपने हार्डवेयर हुआ है पर ये ने जब वो आपने पावर कनेक्ट करी है अटले जब जब आपको बॉडी चाहिए एनी अंदर आपको प्राण नो संचार थे जाए राइट तो सेकंड वन इज प्राण में थर्ड लेयर रेज द हैंड एनीबडी एनी टेकर्स बने लो आपको बॉडी इतने आपने कहिए के आम सॉफ्टवेयर कैसे कहे आपने राइट कि भाई आप कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर आवे क्यों पच्ची आपने नो प्राण नो संचार करने दे दो पच्ची यानी अंदर आपने सॉफ्टवेयर इंस्टॉल ना करिए तो ही एक ही काम नहीं थी खाली हम लागे कि भाई कोई वस्तु से कोई व्यक्ति कोमा मा हुआ है क 
अलग अलग रीते अलग अलग थीअरी प्रमाण वर्णन करना हो पेला त्रे लेर हो फिजिकल अपने कही प्राणमय मनोमय त्रे बॉडी हो बदिविजुअल होपरेट बदतपोता पी अपना बे लेर ऑफ द बॉडी हो विज्ञानमय आनंदमय एवं कहवा कोईप सृष्टि में बदा सेम हो अपने घड़ा अपने अपने पानी ना भरेलू हो तो ये वस्तु पे अंदर एक गुड रिकेपेशन भद्रासपर Keep the thumbs inside. Make tight fist. Deeply inhale. Hold the breath into the lower abdomen. Then bring top of the fist in between the rib cage and navel. Hold fully exhale without leaving the heels. Push the trunk and head down. Then tilt the head slightly up. Inhale, come back up. Second time, Mandukasan frog pose. Same sequence. Tight fist. Deep inhale. Hold the breath in lower abdomen. Place the fist. Forcefully exhale. Bend down and tilt the head upward. Inhale, come back up. And we will do complementary pose. Backward bending. You can sit into the virasan, and you can do supta virasan, or you can do the same pose from the vadrasan. So that would be supta vadrasan, or another name is supine vadrasan. In both the cases, with the help of the palms and folded elbows, let's lay down our back and back of the head, head onto the floor, push the shoulder blades away from each other. And make sure the portion of the back in between the shoulder blades also rested well. Raise both hands up. Rest the palms on top of the thighs. Relax the lower back. Relax thighs, hip joints, knees, calf muscles. Rotate the awareness within the body, and observe where you can have the maximum stretches. So once we stayed long enough into this pose, grab the ankles, push the elbows down to the floor, and bring the body up back. Into the initial pose, either it could be a vadrasan or virasan, whatever pose that you started with. Now separate the knees out about a couple of feet to accommodate our trunk area. Bring both palms beside the hips, back of the palms on the floor, back straight. Deep inhale. As we exhale, 
try to bring the forehead onto the floor rest the forehead onto the floor deep inhale deep exhale relax the shoulders relax the lower back relax the hip joints Next inhalation, raise the head and then bring the body back up completely vertical. Next we'll go on the knees. We will do the gate poses. Gate pose and its variation extend the right leg out. We are on the left knee onto the floor. Inhale, raise the left hand up. As we exhale, bend the upper body towards the right leg. Keep on sliding the right hand onto the right leg. Reach out to the right ankle or beyond if you can. Keep looking up into the ceiling or at least corner of the ceiling. Inhale, come back up. Don't move the legs. Bring the left palm beside the left knee. Inhale, raise the right hand up. Exhale, bring the right hand towards the left side. Push the right hand towards the floor. Keep looking up into the ceiling. Entire right side of the body, gonna make one big arch. Feel the extension onto the right side. Compression onto the left side. Very slowly as we inhale, bring the hand at the waist. Next inhalation, raise the right leg up, exhale, bring it down, don't bring it all the way to the floor, just a couple of inch away, inhale, raise it up, exhale down, three, four, when we raise leg up, our whole body will be in one horizontal line, down, five, and we're going to hold it here. Five, four, three, two, one. Very slowly bring the right foot back onto the floor, right knee onto floor. And we are doing the gate pose and the variations onto the second side. Inhale, raise the right hand up, exhale, bend towards the left leg, keep looking up, keep sliding the left hand onto the left leg, all the way to the ankle or beyond, keep looking up into the ceiling, keep pushing the right hand down towards left, inhale come back up, bring the right palm beside the right knee, inhale raise the left hand up, exhale push the left hand down onto the right side, closer to the floor, keep looking up, feel the entire left side of the body getting extended, making a big arch. Next inhale very slowly, bring the left palm at the waist, inhale raise the left leg up, exhale lower it, inhale up, Exhale down, three, four, five and hold, five, four, three, two, one, very slowly bring the left foot back onto the floor, left knee onto the floor and we will just stay on both the knees, getting ready for the half camel pose. So just taking a little bit pose, not to rush into the next pose. Okay, keep the knees and feet apart, same distance as the shoulder width. Bring both hands at the waist, fingertips pointing down. Next inhalation, bend down, 
or backward, look into the back wall, keep pushing the pelvis forward, keep pushing both the elbows closer to each other at the back. Now holding all three forces, when I do countdown, we just need to increase the intensity. 10, 9, keep pushing pelvis forward, keep dropping head down, keep bringing elbows together. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very slowly, come out of the pose, straighten the trunk and bend forward both palms onto the floor in a tabletop pose we will do cat and cow pose look up into the front wall as high as possible try to push the lower back up as well try to make the spine downward arch fully exhale look at the navel try to make the spine upward arch inhale up again Exhale, look down. We can add a little bit force so we can have the better arch. So do two to three more times. Do with your own pace, but do with breath coordination fully. Inhale, fully exhale. Okay, once done, then just get back into the tabletop pose, keep looking straight at the level of the eyes into the front wall, so toes on the floor, palms on the floor and knees on the floor. Next inhalation, kick the right hand out and left foot back, left toes pointing towards back wall. Our trunk remains parallel to the floor, the right arm and left leg also parallel to the floor. Now deep inhale as we raise the leg up and hand up, as we exhale, hold at the right elbow and left knee, bring them together, inhale, raise them up separate, exhale, bring them back together, inhale, raise them up, exhale together, inhale up and bring the right palm and left knee down back onto the floor inhale exhale normal next inhalation kick the left foot uh, right foot back and left hand forward so the right leg trunk and left arm parallel to the floor Inhale, exhale, normal. Now deep inhale, raise the leg and arm up as high as they can go. Exhale, hold the left knee, left elbow and right knee, bring them together. Inhale, separate, raise them up. Exhale, bring them down, up, down together, up, inhale, and bring the left palm and right knee back onto the floor and on both the knees next we will stand up relax legs hands feet Okay, and we will do Tadasan, feet together, interlock the fingers, turn the palms upside down, inhale, go on to the toes, stretch the whole body upward, push the palms even further towards ceiling, exhale, down, feet flat on the floor, inhale one more time, Go on the toes, stay on the toes. Exhale down. Then we're gonna walk on the heels. Make a two circles. 
around the mat. Then two circles on the toes around the mat. Okay, now separate the feet about four feet apart, three to four feet, raise both hands up, both arms parallel to each other, deep inhale, as we exhale, bend sideways, so obviously one hand will get a little bit shorter, but we need to push the shoulder out, so we can keep the toes, all the ten toes together into the one line. Inhale, come back. Exhale onto the second side. Keep looking up at least toward the corner of the ceiling. Inhale, come back. We can do a little bit more second round. We are warmed up enough. Do with breath coordination. But try to stay into the same plane. So don't try to bend out of the plane. Keep looking up into the ceiling. Inhale, come back. Exhale onto the second side. Come back. Now separate the feet even further apart, all the way apart as far as like six foot person, six feet height, their feet probably reach to the edge of the mat pretty much. Bring both hands at the waist, deep inhale, we will do Katri Chakrasan, waist rotation, as we exhale, twist waist and above. Try to hold the hips, the legs right there. They are just twisting the upper body onto the one side. Look back, feel the full twist at the waist muscles. Inhale, come back onto the second side. Inhale, come back. Let's do second time. Make sure our, our hands is, is pushing the hips into the opposite side of where we are twisting. So we have a better twist. Come back and onto the second side. Try to keep the trunk as vertical as possible. Come back. Okay, now we will do simple triangle, both knees straight, elbow straight, deep inhale, as we exhale, just bend sideways, so one hand will go onto the floor, other hand will go towards the ceiling, keep looking up into the ceiling through the palm which is up, and we are keep staying into the same plane. Come back and onto the second side. Fully exhale. We can keep full awareness at the waist, the lower back. Come back. We will do second time. Come back and onto the second side. Come back. Now 
turn the right toes out 90 degree outward hold at the right knee and pass the right hand under the right leg and the left hand will go directly at the back of the body connect them together and keep looking up into the ceiling as we keep pushing the pelvis area the waist area down so our trailing leg and trunk stay in same line slowly come back and we will do on the second side try to stay within the mat area we don't want anybody to slip the foot first hold at the knee and then pass towards the left side now keep looking up into the ceiling and come back now relax the legs hands a little bit and stand in the tadasan for few seconds just for a short break the hands will be completely loose wherever the gravity takes basically we try not to hold any body parts any muscles if we balance our body properly, so with minimum effort, our body will be completely still, steady. We can close the eyes. We can feel the sensations coming out from the various parts of the body. Let's quickly recognize them. Inhale, come back. So this background music, whatever you're listening now, is it is it like you know makes sense? Like you know, is music or is coming out too deep or too low or anything? Is it clear? Is that heard clearly? Okay, because sometimes or oh, depends on your device too. Let's see if you're listening to the good speaker, you should be able to hear, but if you are using mobile or iPad or some small device, you might not be able to. So how many people are able to listen to the background music right now? It's just like some soothing music. Okay, good. Okay, so um, let's do super brain yoga. You can try to do zero to 10 depending on the capacity. Once done, at least eight or ten. Then next we will do Paschim Namaskar. You can turn the toes toes up, push them up. This we can tangle the thumbs. can separate the feet far apart, deep inhale, keeping the knees straight, turn the upper body onto the one side, exhale fully, try to bring the forehead onto the knees. Inhale up, exhale onto the second side. Come back. So now bring 
both the hands at the waist, thumbs we can we can keep thumb tip onto the sacrum. Sacrum is the lowest point on the spine. Just hold there, we can massage the sacrum, deep inhale, as we exhale, bend down completely. Let the upper body hang at the waist. Don't try to resist. Inhale, come back and bend backward. Good. Okay. And come back. Now, let's lay down. We did forward bending, backward bending, all the different on sideway bending, multiple poses too. So let's lay down into Shavasan. So we will do inversion and then we will get into Yoga Nidra. So we can do breathe pose, bring both the heels at the hips, grab the ankles, we can push the lower back up, but this is inversion, so some people unable to do this, they can do Uttan Padasan. Uttan Padasan is raising both the legs up 90 degree with the floor, and if you able to do this, breathe pose, Satvamandasan, then go ahead and do that. Here you can also do the one leg up alternatively or you can do both legs up too. So that pretty much closer to the Sarvangasana but not exactly. In Sarvangasana the body weight go directly onto the shoulders. Here it is split and from here we can also do Halasana as well if you like to. Otherwise come back to breathe pose and very slowly bring the body down, lay down into Shavasana. The people who are doing Uttar Padasan, they can slowly lower the legs. Looks like most of the people are able to do inversion. Good. So from Shavasana, we will do Matsyasana. Matsyasana you can do either with the folded knees, like cross leg posture, you can just keep the both legs crossed and bring both the hands under the body or you can keep your legs straight but if you keeping your legs straight then push the toes outward. And then lift the upper body up all the way up and bring the top of the head back onto the floor holding the trunk up. Look into the back wall, stay into Matsyasan for at least 20 seconds. Meantime, I will put set up the Yoga Nidra audio. So you can prepare yourself for the yoga nidra. You can cover yourself up if you want to turn the lights down. Make any final adjustments, final movements. Okay, lay down into Shavasan, completely still the body, breathe in and out normal, close the eyes and then follow the word by word instructions. Aapka dhyan saans ke chalne par hai. जब आप सांस ले रहे हैं 
और जब सांस बाहर निकल रही है उस वक्त पेट चेस्ट और कंधों में जो मूवमेंट्स हो रहे हैं उनका अनुभव करें बाहर निकलने वाली हर सांस के साथ आपका शरीर धीरे धीरे शिथिल और शांत होता जा रहा है अब मैं जिस अंग का जिस हिस्से का नाम कहूंगा आप अपना ध्यान वहां पर ले जाएं। मैं जिस अंग का नाम कहूंगा आप अपना ध्यान वहां पर ले जाएं। दाएं पैर का तलवा दाएं पैर का पंजा उंगलियां अंगूठा दाएं पैर की पिंडली घुटना और घुटने से लेकर कमर तक आपका ध्यान पूरे दाएं पैर पर रखें अब जब आप एक गहरी सांस लेकर छोड़ेंगे तो अपने दाएं पैर में भरपूर आराम पाएंगे दाएं पैर में जो आराम महसूस हो रहा है उसका अनुभव करें पूरे पैर में आराम है मानो पूरा पैर नींद में हो अब अपना ध्यान बाएं पैर के तलवे पर ले जाएं बाएं पैर का तलवा पंजा उंगलियां अंगूठा बाएं पैर की पिंडरी घुटना और घुटने से लेकर कमर तक पूरा बाया पैर इस वक्त आपके ध्यान में है आप अपने पूरे बाएं पैर का अनुभव कर रहे हैं अब जब आप एक गहरी सांस लेकर छोड़ेंगे तो पाएंगे कि पूरे बाएं पैर में आराम है पूरे पैर में आराम गहरा आराम और पूरा पैर नींद में हो अब अपना ध्यान एक साथ दोनों पैरों पर ले जाएं, दोनों पैरों का एक साथ अनुभव दोनों पैर गहरे आराम में हैं, अनुभव करें दोनों पैर निद्रा का मनो अनुभव कर रहे हों अब मैं जिस हिस्से का नाम लूंगा आप अपना ध्यान वहां पर ले जाएंगे कमर हिप्स पीठ सीना पीठ हर जगह पे ध्यान ले जाएं कमर हिप्स पीठ सीना पीठ और अब एक गहरी सांस लेकर जब आप छोड़ेंगे तो पाएंगे कि ये हर जगह पे गहरा आराम है गहरा आराम अब अपना ध्यान अपने दाएं हाथ पर ले जाएं, कंधे से लेकर उंगलियों तक पूरा दाया हाथ जाने के दाएं हाथ में क्या हो रहा है अनुभव करें और एक गहरी सांस लेकर के जैसे ही छोड़ेंगे आप तो पूरे हाथ में आराम पाएंगे अनुभव करें दाएं हाथ में गहरा आराम है 
मन पूरा हाथ नींद में हो अब अपना ध्यान बाएं हाथ की ओर ले जाए और बाएं हाथ का अनुभव करें कंधे से लेकर उंगलियों तक पूरा बाया हाथ जाने कि वहां पर क्या हो रहा है और अब जब आप एक गहरी सांस लेकर छोड़ेंगे तो पाएंगे कि पूरा बाया हाथ गहरे आराम में है निद्रा में है अब एक साथ दोनों हाथों का अनुभव करें दोनों हाथ एक साथ एक गहरी सांस लेकर के छोड़े और दोनों हाथों में आराम पाए गहरा आराम अब जिस अंग का मैं नाम कहूंगा आप अपना ध्यान वहां पर ले जाएंगे गर्दन जबड़े गाल होठ नाक आंखें कान कपाल सिर का ऊपर हिस्सा जाने के वहां पर क्या हो रहा है गर्दन जबड़े गाल होठ नाक आंखें कान कपाल सिर का ऊपर हिस्सा एक गहरी सांस लेकर के छोड़ेंगे ये सब गहरे आराम में चला जाएगा अनुभव करें फिर से एक गहरी सांस लें और उसको छोड़ते हुए पूरे शरीर का एक साथ अनुभव करें पूरा शरीर गहरे आराम में है गहरी नींद पूरा शरीर गहरी नींद की अवस्था में है मगर आप जागरूक है इस वक्त यू आर कॉन्शियस आप अलर्ट हैं और इस शरीर की पूरे शरीर के कण कण की गहरी नींद के साक्षी बने हुए हैं अनुभव करें पूरे शरीर में कण कण में जो गहरे आराम का अनुभव हो रहा है उस अनुभव में रहें अब मैं एक से पांच की गिनती करूंगा जब पांच कहूंगा आप स्वस्थ होंगे फ्रेश और तरोताजा होंगे अब मैं एक से पांच की गिनती करूंगा जब मैं पांच कहूंगा आप स्वस्थ होंगे फ्रेश तरोताजा होंगे एक दो तीन पांच की गिनती पर आप फ्रेश होंगे स्वस्थ होंगे चार पांच Place the warm hands over the eyes and face. Move the palms over the eyes. Open and close the eyes few times in dark under the palms. Slowly slide the hands down. Is be gently open the eyes. Wiggle the toes. Move them side by side. Turn the head onto both the sides. Give body a big stretch. Yes, take out some stick pose. Full stretch, 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 and relax. Now fold at both the knees and roll the body onto the right side. Stay on the right for about a couple of normal breaths in and out. Very slowly, with help of both the palms, bring the body up back into sitting posture.
Okay, we will do just one minute Anulom Vilom Pranayam. We will breathe in from the left, breathe out on the right, breathe in on right and breathe out on left. So just round trip, left to right, right to left, left to right, right to left, keep on going. With Vishnu Mudra we can block and block nostrils with the thumb tip and ring finger tip. Okay, conclude when we breathe out on left. Let's do three Brahmari Pranayam as well. In the hands in the Sanmukhi Mudra, we will just do three Brahmari Pranayam followed by Sambhavi Mudra. We can continue with the closure of the session, bring both palms into the left, the top of each other, back straight, relax shoulders, close the eyes, we will chant Mahamrutunja Mantra three times, everybody together, followed by short meditation, Omkar chant and closing prayer. During meditation part, try to keep awareness at the Sahasrara Chakra, at the crown of the head. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukameva Bandhanar Mrutyur Mukshiyamam Rutat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukameva Bandhanar Mrutyur Mukshiyamamrutat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukameva Bandhanar Mrutyur Mukshiyamamrutat Om 
स्वस्तिर्भवतु शांतिर्भवतु पूर्ण मंगल सुखि ओम सर्वे सन्तु निरामया ओम सर्वे भद्रा पश्य कस्ति दुख भवे ओम शांति 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 Let's warm hands over the eyes and face, move the palms over the eyes, gently massage the eyelids, open and close eyes few times under the palms in dark, slowly slide the hands down, gently open the eyes, rub the palms one more time. Place them on top of the head, back of the head. shoulders arms tongue legs throughout the body to spread the energy within hari om tat sat shri guru bhyo namaha jai shri krishna good evening everybody so kadach koi kan